What's up, Billy Jean? Yes. Last I saw you, we were going into the variety party, and then you vanished for <clears throat> more than 24 hours. And you kept telling me locations that when I got there, they didn't know who Billy Jean was. They thought you were with Michael Jackson. They said he's dead. <laughs> so what happened to Billy Jean in Hollywood last night that I lost you, love? <laughs> How did I lose you for an evening when everybody had my name on the list and I had emails and texts and security wouldn't even look at it? What was that about? What did they tell you? Because they talked to you. Um, I walked out. They told me that they told me to come to get a drink. They were going to start a table for us. They did. But why wouldn't they let us in but, the party? Um, I don't know. And that was a hotel, though, yeah, wasn't it? No, what it was it? Or was that Variety? It was a Variety. Um, variety offered to buy you drinks? Uh, right, yeah, no, the head of the, the head of the hospitality department. The girl. Yeah. She, she was a manager on duty. Yeah, she felt bad, so she. Um, she well, but like, I asked her to make sure you had cards and brought them out to me, um, and I'd wait outside for five minutes. She never had you come out. No, they kept telling. They kept. But they did. You were right there. I was been saying they kept trying to. Um, did anyone give you cards? Trust me. Um, I asked the manager. No. Everyone I spoke with, I asked oh. to give cards. No one gave you a card. Because they didn't have cards for me. I said, please give me a card. So none of them wanted to be on you. Interesting. Mm. Had customer service. Boston Herald calling. Hello. What's up? You're here where? Okay, are you in the studio? The one that I sent you the text on. It's on the text that I sent you. I'm driving. I can't look at it right now. Look at the text. Read the black and white. What unit number does it say? Cannot hear you. Cannot hear you. I cannot hear you. What did you say? Do you have the unit number or not? Yeah, so just go knock on the door and introduce yourself. Bye. Boston Herald has been hounding me. Okay. Yeah, at AFM and now this trip. Everywhere I go. We want to tape you. We want to interview you. Again? For what? I didn't see the last interview yet. It's nice to be wanted, not sometimes. It's a major fucking pain in the ass. Especially when I was getting calls after midnight from publicists demanding I come and meet with them to help get people from foreign countries on the red carpet for Sunday and into the Emmys for free. Not the Oscars, for free. Unlike. You're asking me to burn major favors like a day before the weekend? And I've never even met these people? And you won't come to me? I have to come to you? And then I drove to the place? And no one was there. So I get three in the morning in some cracked neighborhood in Silver Lake that I didn't even want to be at, but was told that was the only way we could arrange a meeting. And I could only go by myself. I mean, if I showed you this string of texts, it'd be like, Allison, really? Call me out on that one, girl. That was not cool. But the fact you didn't text me back either after I came to see you at your request. Roar! <laughs> I said stick around, I'm on a change. So does this stuff happen to women too, not just guys in entertainment? Oh yeah, I think so. This parasite, you know, I need something from you and now immediately my ass is on fire and it's your fault. Fix it. Yeah. Or you're a scumbag and I'll go find somebody else who can. I love those kind of phone calls. Well, if you can't do it, I'll call someone else who can. Right. Oh, is that supposed to be like bait me to see, oh, well, all that they can do it, I can uh, do it. Oh, that really turns me on. I get so sexually excited about that knot. It's like getting my teeth thrown without Novocaine, and I don't like pain at all. Whip spurs, needles, drugs. No. Whip spurs, needles, drills, hardware of any kind that might hurt me. Get it away from me! Laser surgery beams not interested i would like to say how i handle bodily functions not someone introducing things into me in a club where they put something in my drink and i walk outside and i have flu symptoms and hot and sweat and chills and throwing up out of every orifice simultaneously because some butthead thought it would be funny to try and od me have you ever had that one happen oh is that a thrill being a woman knowing you're puking your guts out and somebody can take advantage of you because there's sick people who do that while you're... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It happens to guys, too, in this town. Trust me. I don't know if it's other heterosexuals or 
women with an angry axe or just sadistic, crazy people. I don't know where it comes from. No one ever says, I'm the one that's going to put this crap into your drink. Right. And you never know it's there until it's too late. Oh, that's, yeah. Because it's it's usually odorless, flavorless, tasteless. It could be a powder. It could be a little drop of something. The right micro the right thing in your drink, oh dear, can be deadly. I've had near-death experiences because somebody thought it was really funny. Or they're just really... Are you okay? Yeah. As she passes out. Yeah. So what happened? Tell me. Give us all the dirt. It says she takes a nap now. She's still recovering from being up for a week with no sleep. Mm, true. Welcome to the Oscars! Hello, Oscars. Oscar my winner. Alright, should I call Steve and find out about Steinway, or are you calling somebody on Steinway? No, oh uh, wait. Mr. Paul. Because I've got the Boston Herald calling me back again after I just told her to go in the studio. That lasted long, didn't it? Yeah. Wow. Come on, doubly do right. Let's see. I'm going to switch lens just so people can see the stuff I'm dealing with. We're going to go down for a minute.